What's up everyone? My name is Trevor and I am the Gaming Goomba. This is going to be a, a pretty tough video to make, but I feel like it's it's wrong to continue making normal content without addressing uh, what, what, what we uh, found out today about one of all of our favorite YouTubers on this site, Etika. A lot of you may have found my YouTube channel through a video that I made back in October covering it uh, when he had his first mental breakdown. And uh, I decided to make that video because there was a lot of confusion on what was going on with him. And uh, a lot of you guys appreciated me putting it all into one video. And uh, man, when I, when I made that video back in October, I didn't think eight months later I'd be sitting down talking about his, uh, his death. And it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's hard. Since he initially started having issues in October, uh, you guys know that he has uh, gone back and forth a little bit. We, we, we gone a, a couple months where we'd have our, our normal Etika back. Um, and then he'd go on his rants on Twitter. And it's just, it, it makes me sick now, just how I felt. Because he would go on these, on, on these streaks on Twitter where he would just act completely insane and we would all get frustrated with him everybody would call him a clown and we'd all get frustrated and because we just wanted the normal etika but we saw it as oh god here goes etika again acting crazy we just wanted our normal entertaining etika to get on stream and act like you know act like an idiot and and make us all laugh and how selfish were we to look at these tweets and just be and just think oh god etika is going crazy again why can't i have my normal etika back when that's all we ever looked at it as is he's being a clown and he's not normal and we didn't think maybe it was a cry for help and all we did was made him feel worse about it we if you if you watch his video that he uploaded the day that he decided to take his own life uh you could tell that we had driven him to believe that 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 he was in a nuisance on all of us and uh we we didn't like what he was doing we didn't appreciate the way he was acting and we had led him to believe that and i know he said it's not our fault but i can't help but feel like after watching that video that you know we made him feel like he was in the wrong and that we made him feel like he couldn't come back uh he couldn't recover from some of the things that he had said and done and it's just a real shame uh, our us as fans could have handled it a whole lot better throughout this last week i've been i was pretty skeptical uh whenever i first heard about it and everybody looked at uh his twitter where he asked when should i have my next mental breakdown and someone said june 20th and he said i got you so we all assumed that it was another stunt that you know he posted this video and then went ghost on everywhere we was like oh here goes etika again just doing another stunt and it's, you know, he's going to lose a lot of fans over it. And watching that video that he posted on his YouTube channel, I didn't think, I wanted to believe it was just another stunt just so we would still have him. But just the seriousness in his tone in that video led me to believe that it wasn't what we thought it was. And pretty much when he found, when the police found his belongings, including his ID, his phone, his wallet, and his switch on the side of the bridge... Um, that's pretty much when I knew, uh, we had lost him. And there was a small, uh, part in my brain that was to try to tell myself maybe he planted it there to make people believe that he would kill himself. But, you know, now that it's, it's all out there and we, we know it's the truth. I just, I'm, I'm just having a hard time processing it, guys. It's, uh, I, it's all the crazy things that he said over these last eight months, I never believed that he would actually kill himself. Uh, it's just unfathomable. I just, I just wish that there, I mean, obviously there's not much we could have done. We could do now, but I just, uh, I just wish that we were better as fans. I wish we didn't call him a clown 50,000 times. I wish we didn't all call him an idiot for saying the things that he were when obviously he needed help and that what was so hard about watching the video is because in his suicide video he sounded the most sane that he had sounded in the last eight months like 
he admitted that he had been pushing people away and that he'd been pushing help away and that he did need help and that he did have a problem. He admitted all of those things. That's what makes this so much more difficult is in this video, he sounded like completely like he understood exactly what was going on. He was like, I pushed away help. I pushed away my friends. But now that he had realized it in the video that he was ex he was explaining it, he basically felt that he pushed everyone away and he had no friends left and he had no one left. And that's what drove him to this. And it sucks that us as fans couldn't fill that void for him and make him feel like he did have a support structure because obviously, as we can see now, he did. Uh, he had a very strong support structure from us, but we just weren't. We should have been more vocal with it. We should have been more supportive. There should have been more more of us being supportive than those of us who were calling him clown, calling him a clown over and over again. It, we we definitely could have been better as a fan base uh, to support Etika throughout this whole situation. And now that he's gone, I, it's gonna be it's gonna be really tough to uh, to get excited about Nintendo games. We got Super Mario Maker two coming out. I'm gonna pick it up, but it's just. It's not. It's not going to be the same. Every time Nintendo announced a big game, or there was a big announcement, big surprise at a direct or an E3, we always. My first thing, anyways, after I recorded my reaction or I watched it or whatever I was doing, I would always go and immediately look for Etika's stuff because Etika always had the purest, the most exciting reactions, even if they might have been a little over exaggerated. They were just so entertaining, and it's just like he embodied all of our excitement in in one person, and. The Nintendo community is it's there's going to be a big hole there from now on. Every time there's a big announcement, anytime there's a new Smash character revealed, anytime there's a big new Nintendo game announced, we're all going to wonder and wish we could see what Etika's reaction would have been. I'm really just at a loss for words. I don't know how we're going to fill this void in the Nintendo community now. Uh, every time, every time a new Nintendo game is announced or a Smash character, we're all going to think about Etika. We're all going to wonder what Etika would have thought of this and. It's just never really going to be the same without his reactions there. Uh, anytime there was a big announcement, and you know there was a people would put together compilations of the announcement and of people's reactions. Etika was always the the main, the center of these compilations, and he just he he embodied all of our excitement into just his single person, and that's special. There's. Uh, there's uh, not many people that you can say that about for for anything. He he was truly an icon and truly a uh, probably the face. Whether or not Nintendo would want to admit it or not, he was he was the face of our fan base. He was he was our mascot. Now we lost our mascot. And Etika, I just want you to know if you're watching this from from up there, uh, you said in your video that. No one would remember you, and we'd forget about you soon after. And I just want you to know that you'll never be forgotten, and you'll always have a place in all of our hearts. And any time for the rest of history, at least in the Nintendo community, whenever a new game is announced, or a new Smash game, or a new character, or anything Nintendo related for the rest of my life, I'll immediately wonder how much you would have enjoyed this, and how much we wish you could have seen what we were seeing. Um, that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, rest in peace to Etika and my condolences are out to the friends and family uh, I hope you guys can get through this and I hope I can get through this uh, see you guys in the next one